At this point, we're going to go to the Page Optimization tab in SEO Checklist, and we're going to install, enable, and configure the Yoast SEO module, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash Yoast underscore SEO. Yoast is a really neat module that kind of addresses the other side of the SEO coin. Throughout SEO Checklist so far, most of what we've been doing, if not all, has been addressing the technical side of SEO, making sure our site is created properly, making sure our, our meta tags are there, we have clean URLs, technical things that search engines are gonna look are gonna look at. The Yoast SEO module, on the other hand, is a tool to help you analyze your content. Now, of course, it still does this from a technical perspective, but it still helps you make sure that what SEO does is it provides an interface that gives you feedback on pieces of content, and it essentially tells you how good of a job you're doing at focusing in, zeroing in on certain keywords that you want to show up for, and modeling your content in such a way that maximizes your potential page rank for those keywords. So we'll take a look at this and see exactly what I mean by all that. Go ahead and download and install Yoast SEO and come back when you're ready. All right, once you've got that downloaded and installed, you're gonna to go to extend as always, and you'll notice that if you do a search for Yoast, you're gonna get no results. When this is installed on your Drupal site, what you wanna look for is real-time SEO for Drupal. You can find this in the SEO tab, again, if you're using module filter. But however you get to it, go to real-time SEO for Drupal, check it, and click install. And we can go to the configuration page by clicking configure here, or going to configuration, development, real-time SEO admin settings. And you'll see that on this configuration page, we don't have a whole lot. We can, it has a link that simply takes us to our XML sitemap configuration page. It has one that'll take us to our meta tag configuration page. Both of these we've already configured on our own. But then down here, it's essentially asking us what bundles or what content types, in our case, we want real-time SEO to be enabled for. We're gonna go with both of these, so there's nothing that we need to change. If there is anything that you want to deselect, obviously do so and click save. And this real-time SEO is gonna pop up when you're creating or editing content. So, we're gonna click on content and just get a list of all of the content on our website and scroll down and really pick anything. Maybe don't pick one of the ones that we've created manually, but go down and choose an article that was created using the Devel module if you did indeed create some content with Devel. I'll choose this one, and we're gonna edit that piece of content. And if we go ahead and scroll down a bit, we see we have some new stuff here. Real-time SEO for Drupal. This is the bulk of what this Yoast module gives us. What we do here is in this field, we can type in a keyword that we essentially want the module to analyze our content for to see our effectiveness in essentially targeting this keyword, or in other words, modeling our content in such a way that this page is likely or more likely to show up in search results for that keyword. So you can really type in anything. You can type in the title if you want, or you can just kind of grab anything. I'm just gonna go with this word Kogo right here. Again, this is just obviously, this is dummy text that we use to generate the article. And so I'm gonna say that I really think this page uh, is relevant for people doing a search for Kogo. And so I'm gonna see if I'm right about that, how good of a job I'm doing. So I'm gonna type in Kogo here, and right away, first off, we've apparently done a pretty good job on Kogo because it gives us an overall assessment right here, right off the bat, SEO, good. Okay, that's a good start. Right here, it shows us what this is gonna look like in search engines. And then down here, it gives us a neat little content analysis. Now, as you can imagine, green means good. 
Orange means it's something that you can work on. And red means it's something that's maybe kind of bad and you should address that. So for instance, the focus keyword Kogo does not appear in the page title. That's going to hurt our SEO. No images appear in this page. Okay, that's apparently going to hurt us at all. That's apparently going to hurt us as well. This line essentially tells us that our text is very difficult to read, which makes sense because it's all gibberish. And then we can go through all the rest of this. Let's take a look at what we've done well. The meta description contains the focus keyword. Okay, good. The focus keyword appears in the first paragraph of the copy. Great. Text contains 584 words, more than the 300 word recommended minimum. Awesome. And the keyword density is 0.9%, which is great. The focus keyword was used five times. Now, it's important that as you are addressing some of these potential problems, you don't just follow this to the T and try to make every single piece of content greenlit all the way up all the time. If you do that, then you're probably going to fall into the trap of altering your content, not so that it's reader friendly, but so that it's more search engine friendly than user friendly. And that's a trap that people fall into sometimes because they get so focused on their search engine optimization that they forget about their human readers and they create something that looks perfect theoretically to a search engine, but then human readers can't really relate to it or it's written awkwardly or you try to do weird little hacky things that don't come across well to a human reader. So keep your content written for humans at all time. Don't, don't ever do anything that's going to be weird or awkward, even if it gives you an extra green light down here. This is just a set of guidelines. It's not a set of requirements. Notice with several oranges and reds, we still have an overall good report for this focus keyword. So just be aware of that. One other thing that's really cool that you can do in this module is click edit snippet here and we can change various aspects of this piece of content, particularly those that are related to meta tags as well as the path for the page. And not only will it tell us essentially how good we're doing with our SEO in the changes that we make, but it'll also update those things elsewhere automatically. So we had this problem, the focus keyword Kogo does not appear in the page title. Well, what if we just kind of added that in here? Okay, so now we're green and it's showing the change up here. This is the difference in how it's gonna look in the search engine. Now, this didn't change anything in our actual content title, but if we go over here and look at meta tags, Notice it did automatically add that to the page title. And it's going to do the same thing for the slug, which is the path, everything after your domain. It's unclear here, but you have to start these with a beginning slash. So if we wanted to change this to maybe something slash article slash Kogo, it's going to automatically change our URL alias, but we don't want to do that. So I'm going to delete that. And finally, if we change our meta description, which in this case <laughs> ended up a little bit long, it'll do the same thing here. So again, this is another tool that you can use. And this one is unique as compared to a lot of the other tools we've been using so far. And then it does a little bit more qualitative analysis of your content to see, okay, your site's set up fine. Let's take a look at certain keywords that you want to try to target, such as Kogo. And based on what we know about search engines, we're going to give you a rough but fairly accurate assessment of how good you're doing at optimizing your content for that particular keyword. When we're done making whatever changes we want, as always, we will save and keep published. And of course, we'll go back to configuration, search and metadata, SEO checklist, down to page optimization, and we're going to check off that we configured the Yoast SEO module.